This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we have a Mila Incognito dishwasher where the water comes in for a few seconds and then it uh, pauses, then more water comes in, then it pauses and then that happens a few times and then it drains, but it never really starts the cycle. This is a problem with the flow meter and it may cause an F12 error. Talks about it here in the manual, but um, pretty easy to solve this problem and it's pretty common with a lot of the Mila dishwashers. They all have, um, different models have different uh, flow meters, but the one we're showing here is the Incognito, but you'll also see this uh, same with all the models because they all use a flow meter. And in this model, the incognito, it's actually pretty easy to get it going again or to replace it. But the symptom again may be where it shows an F12 error or that it just uh, water comes in, then water drains out, water comes in, water drains out. You get the intake drain light, but it never starts the cycle. And then we're gonna take out a few screws here that are holding it in. And it could be that you have screws here and here, or it could be at the top. So in this case, we're going to be going at the top. Okay, that one just came out. All right, we're going to see if we can kind of wiggle it out now. All right, looks good. So we're also going to remove the uh, bottom panel. The trim piece come out and then we're going to lift a little bit to get the feet over <clears throat> over this rim. I want to get this plate off. A couple of Phillips head screws to take out. A couple at the top. <clears throat> and then one here I think at the back. And this is also where you can find the model number. This one is a uh, G858SC, as in cat, V as in victory, I plus. Let me get the screw out. Here we go. Okay, that plates out. So this is on the incognito model. This is the right side, the right panel off. And this is where the water comes in to the dishwasher right here. And the water comes in from the fill, fill tube through this line. And it goes past a little wheel that spins. This is called the flow meter. And a lot of times with the Miele dishwasher when it's having trouble, this is a common um, part that may be having difficulty and if you can just uh, replace this or if you can get it um, moving it'll often fix many of the problems. If the little wheel doesn't move with a magnet then remove this hose circled in red and put maybe a long screwdriver or a wire up in here to get that little paddle to move with mechanical action. And if once it starts to move again, you're probably gonna be okay, but you still may need a new uh, flow meter that's really easy to replace. It just plugs right in. Just took the modular connector off and then I'm gonna push this way, kind of wiggle, get this out. And there's a little diode in there that's sensing uh, a magnet on a wheel. You guys can see that thing turning, that wheel. But um, if that's not turning really easily, that could be a problem. See there's like little paddles. And those paddles are uh, going to get pushed by the water pressure. And that's going to tell the computer um, how much water has come in. So they call it a flow sensor. And sometimes, this one's doing great, but sometimes that 
uh, it does not move very well. And if you can free it up and get it moving more readily, it's good. I believe it's magnetic, so that's why it's kind of moving as I move this screwdriver that has a magnetic tip. And this senses that magnet moving. Um, I think the problem usually is this, this little diode. So you get this new part from Mila USA and just slip it in there. Probably cure your problem um, where you're getting some of these um, codes and your dishwasher just is acting strange because it's not able to sense how much water is coming in. It's a pretty powerful magnet at the end of this flashlight and I don't know if you can see this on video but I'm moving that wheel around because it's got a magnet on it and it's moving very easily so that's a good sign so I would check that use a magnet and make sure this little wheel here like the paddle can move really easily and if that moves easily and there's still a flow sensor problem then these are pretty cheap you just replace this thing and going to fit in like that. We're just going to push it in. It'll click into place. We'll go and put the power connector back in. If you notice uh, when this goes back in this green thing, the open area is facing you and the little tab is away from you. You got to push that back in, click it in. There we go. So that is a very common problem with the Mila dishwasher, that that wheel gets stuck or that little diode gets burned out. Easy to fix. Here comes the left side. So I'm going to get this to go over this lip. Initially, so I'm coming in kind of at a diagonal. And then I've got this white part behind the silver part. Go forward. And this should kind of get trapped underneath the sound insulation. There we go. We're going to put those screws in. Bring in the back, I'm sorry, the screw in the back one here too. To hold on that plate. Got it. Gonna put this back in. Turn it off for now. Just gonna kind of push and wiggle. There we go. So you don't want a Mila drain hose to come directly into the disposer like this. It's far better if you can have the hose go in a high arc first up like this higher than the disposer would be much better. I'm going to use a zip tie to get it held up there, but then if the sink floods, that water will not flow backwards and flood your Mila. I'm going to try to get it around this thing. So now the drain hose goes up in a high arc, higher than the disposer. So if this floods, water comes into here, if it can't escape here, it'll go out here, it'll go in here, and come up to here and stop. But before, it could just flow down backwards and then flood the dishwasher. So that fixes that. Thanks so much for watching our video. We really appreciate your support. And when you get a chance, please press the subscribe button below so you can be subscribed and also the notification bell so we can send you more videos about appliance repair. Please also give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you really liked the video and it really helped you, please press this new applaud button and you can show your support and also get a nice clapping hands for your video. Thanks again.